Hollywood terrorists slammed planes into the World Trade Center almost 10 years ago. Most of us sat glued to our televisions, not some local firefighters. They grabbed their gear and drove all night to get to the World Trade Center site. They are part of Ohio Task Force One. It's a federal urban search and rescue team. Their job is to find people in the rubble and ruin of disasters. Cincinnati Fire Lieutenant and Task Force One member Kevin McMullen is one of those men. It seems so long ago, and then it seems like yesterday. So. Lieutenant Kevin McMullen didn't really know what he and his Task Force One members were headed into on September 11, 2001. He just knew it was bad. You knew there were a lot of firemen heading that way, and it was going to be a long day. They took dozens of photos that even today are hard to look at. It was very surreal because it was dark when we got down there. Everything was lit by floodlights and everybody made the comment, you know, it just seems like a Hollywood set. You know, just all the lights, the smoke rising, the dust still rising. Just was very, it was hard to comprehend from our little piece of it how big the site was that first day. McMullen and his team are trained to rescue people from rubble, find them safely. But this wasn't like any training. You weren't finding the people you were expecting to find, you know, hoping you'd find that void or that, you know, 100 people trapped in the subway station or some, you know, but you, there just wasn't any of that. Uh, never rescued anyone out of where the World Trade Centers were. I think the last people that they got out alive came out that afternoon. McMullen was at the World Trade Center site from the morning of September 12th, 2001 until the 22nd. 10 days he will never forget. 10 days he's very proud of. 10 days that solidified his love and respect of the firefighters who ran into the towers that awful day. One thing I look at a lot, you know, here is that when we're fully staffed, the Cincinnati Fire Department is fully staffed every day. We have 190 people on duty. Every fire truck, every ambulance, anybody you see out there, there's 190 of us. New York City lost 343 firemen that day. So you wipe out the whole day of Cincinnati Fire Department and then wipe out three quarters of the next day. And you think, wow. So I think about that. I still wear a sticker on my helmet, FDNY. That this is the 10 year anniversary really doesn't make it any more special or reverent to McMullen. He says every 9 11, he reflects on the men and women lost that day, and he worries that one day, 9-11 will be like Pearl Harbor or D-Day. Just another day to remember, not feel. He worries that's already happening. And even when we came back from New York, when we got into Ohio, every bridge on I-70 was lined with people, knowing we were coming through. And they don't, you know, they don't think of that today. That's 10 years ago. This week, Lieutenant McMullen is going back to New York, back to the site. It's time. I want to see what's changed. What, you know, it's, I don't know, it just seemed to be the right thing to do. It seems you leave a little bit of yourself behind when you spend time on hallowed ground like this. McMullen is hoping maybe part of him is still there. There's a little bank around the corner where we left our sticker when we left. I'd like to stop and see if it's still in the window. I really hope it is, and I hope he lets me know if it is. You know, shortly after returning from the World Trade Center site, McMullen was a trainer for the next Cincinnati Fire Department's recruit class. That class was handed a list of the 343 firefighters lost on 9-11, and they were told to read their names every day. They did.